These two pensioners never saw themselves as rebels. But the day they heard of plans to turn their forest into a rubbish dump, they felt their blood boil. They joined other locals who have been blocking the construction site for five months, taking it in turns to stand guard next to this old wagon, barring the road. Why do people in Moscow want to send us their rubbish? We don't go over there to throw away our rubbish. We look after it ourselves. I've been living here for 30 years. I built a house here. All I want is for my children and my grandchildren to be able to live here too and for them to have clean air to breathe. Their blockade is less than two kilometres from the site that's been earmarked for landfill in the middle of northern Russia's endless forests. Moscow has decided to dump some of the 10 million tonnes of waste it produces each year near the small town of Urdoma. 500,000 tonnes of it will be sent here annually by train for two decades. Moscow doesn't know what else to do. The capital's dumps are overflowing and they don't have enough waste processing plants. The situation has gotten bad enough to prompt regular protests. Locals complain about the smell. And during the heat of the summer, children have even been hospitalized for poisoning by landfill gas. So authorities came up with a radical solution. Ship the rubbish as far away as possible. That's how the people of the Urduma region found themselves getting their feet muddy. They occupy the site day and night and have stepped up court appeals to try and stop the dump's construction. Our goal is to do everything to prevent them from working. They've had practically no fuel for their machines for about a month and a half now because we managed to prove that their supplies were illegal. Undeterred by the presence of guards, as soon as a train arrives, Nikolai Viktorov and the others photograph anything that seems suspicious and notify the police. They're able to continue delaying works on the site because builders still don't have proper planning permission. With barely 4,000 residents scattered across the Tiger Forest, Urdoma is no match for Moscow with its population of nearly 20 million. But the small town's anger has unexpectedly reverberated across Russia. In our Hangilsk, Russians of all stripes have come out to condemn the local politicians who have agreed to turn this unspoiled region into the capital's bin. People have long been manipulated by propaganda and everything they see on television. Now they are finally starting to wake up and open their eyes. This protest was initially prohibited, but under popular pressure, the police eventually gave way. A small victory, but the battle is still far from won.